Fit and Fire Master Gunner. Running Hogan's Alley with the new PSA AKP 9mm pistol. On you. Alright. Ready? Here we go. Hey, what's going on guys? I am out in Gillette, Wyoming at the High Bar Homestead, courtesy of Palmetto State Armory. They sent out an invite and said, hey, why don't you come out to Gillette? Uh, we're gonna be out here Memorial Day weekend. We're gonna be out the entire weekend shooting everything in our inventory. So I was like, yeah, why not? Let's do it. So I've come on out and I've been spending the last two days with them shooting just about everything that they have in their inventory. And the one that I was um, most eager to get my hands on and the one I thought that I was going to have the most enjoyable time with, the most fun with, has been this guy right here. The AKV, obviously, from Palmetto State Armory. So this is going to be their nine millimeter version of the AK-47. And uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you, it, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, it's been absolutely a joy to shoot. So let's get into kind of a real brief overview of everything that's going on with this. We're gonna talk about some things that I like about it and then uh, some things that uh, a little bit of a concern may not be a big issue, but we're gonna talk about them anyway, just to let you guys know. So real quick, uh, before I get into it, uh, if you guys are interested in this or some other things that uh, I talk about in my videos, I have all of that stuff over at fitandfire.com my website to supplement everything that's going on with the channel. It's a great way to save some save you some money and then a way to support the channel with some affiliate links. Uh, no extra cost to you guys. So I really appreciate that uh, if you're interested in support the channel. With that being said, uh, again, Palmetto State Armory invited me to come out to uh, not only take a look at this, but a lot of their other platforms. They're not paying me to uh, be out here. I'm not getting paid to say anything good about this. If I had some major concerns about it, I'll tell you guys, you know that. But I am a big fan of Palmetto State Armory. If you've been with the channel for a period of time, you'll know that as well. I really like their business model and the fact that they are realistically the businessman's hub for everything firearms related, whether that's a AR-15 build that you're wanting to do, if you're interested in AK-47s, they've got American-made AK-47s and stuff like that. So I've really been impressed, not only with the company, but after spending some time with uh, the PSA people, really got to know them real well and have come to enjoy their company. So with that being said, let's get into talking about this here real quick. First and foremost, a uh, quick overview on it is this is going to have uh, forged front trunnions and then a forged bolt as well, which is uh, something that a lot of American manufacturers don't really do. The other thing is that it's got a 10.5 inch nitrated 4150 steel barrel. It's got a nice uh, two port brake on the end here, enhanced extended uh, safety selector, Single stage trigger, this thing is really nice. Uh, Magpul furniture throughout with the exception of the SBA3 uh, brace on the backside here from SB Tactical, you guys know about that. And then the PSA magazines. These are CZ Scorpion style magazines. They'll work in CZ Scorpions, uh, but uh, I can tell you, these things have been really, really nice as well. So let's talk about some of the things that I liked about this thing and then get on to some of the other things. First and foremost, the back dust cover here has an integrated Picatinny section. And the really cool thing about it is it's hinged right here with the fixed rear sight. Now the front sight is going to be your standard AK style front sight. You're gonna be able to con to adjust the uh, elevation and windage right up here. The rear sight is going to be fixed, so there's not gonna be any adjustments for range like you would find on a normal AK-47, which is just fine, especially for a nine millimeter. About 100 yards is about as far as you're gonna to wanna to go with a nine millimeter. But like I said, it's hinged into the dust cover, so you're able to put a red dot or some type of optic on here, and uh, it is going to hold zero. We've had zero issues with this red dot. It's not a, a high-end one, it's kind of a budget red dot, um, something that could get knocked around and you know, PSA wouldn't really care about that, but it's done very well. Uh, 
has had zero issues with it. Now, one of the things I really like about how this is set up with the red dot is this riser is hollow on the back. So as I pull this up, if I have some issue with the red dot, the battery goes out or something like that, all I have to do is just bring it down just a little bit and I can witness my iron sights and that is super cool i really liked that setup um, i don't know if i would have thought about that but the way they've got it all set up really liked that i talked about the trigger single stage trigger extremely crisp really like that as well this extension here on the safety selector lever was really interesting and uh, very convenient uh, to operate i did a kind of a run and gun scenario here at high bar and it was really easy for me to bring up the weapon fire at some targets throw the select a lever down uh, naturally to engage those targets and then flip it back up with my index finger uh, i didn't have to remove my hand off the pistol grip to actuate the selector lever up front. I could do it right there without moving my hand hardly at all. So that is something really cool uh, as well. The CZ style magazine uh, from PSA was extremely easy to load, a lot easier than Glock mags, uh, and has run flawlessly. We have two of these AKVs out here at the High Bar Homestead, and uh, I think between both of those we've run man i'm going to say at least 3,000 rounds between both of these akvs and we've had zero issues regardless if that is with the firearm itself or these magazines i can tell you we've had zero issues uh, from that Last round, hold open. The other thing that I like is the fact that they have taken a lot of the advice from Tim from the Military Arms Channel. He got one of the first runs of these and he had some issues. He brought those issues up in his video and PSA jumped all over it, got those fixed. Now, if you have one of the first iterations, PSA is encouraging you guys to go ahead and send it in. They'll get everything fixed. They'll go ahead and upgrade everything and then send it back to you just as quickly as they possibly can. So that really kind of highlights everything with this. The SBA3 here on the backside, this brace has been extremely comfortable to shoot. Uh, it's got kind of the M4 uh, receiver extension right here to be able to allow this on it and um, yeah it's extremely comfortable you know it's fully adjustable so if you're a bigger guy than me because I'm not <laughs> very big uh, it you can adjust it uh, to fit you uh, Magpul furniture extremely comfortable to shoot uh, extremely controllable that's one of the great things about the nine millimeter round being shot through this is you're not going to have an issue with this kind of rising if you're going to uh, you know rapid fire this it's really easy to control this and I think that's one of the major reasons why the pistol caliber pistols and pistol caliber carvings are having kind of a resurgence over these last I'd say probably about five years or so is the fact that you can have something like this that is very similar to the intermediate cartridges like older sibling <laughs> i guess uh, but you can have uh, something really cool in a pistol caliber and use that for home defense if you're an individual that lives in an apartment you're worried about over penetration you know you live in an urban environment pistol caliber may be an option for you. I'm not going to say it's going to be the first option for everybody, but it is an option out there and it's one that you should probably consider. So that is kind of a brief overview of everything that's going on with this, some of the things that I like. Now let's get into a couple things that are a bit of a nuisance, right? Um, I don't think there's anything about this that is going to be an end all personally, but one of the things that is kind of an issue right now is availability. This is going to run right around the $7.99 mark. Depending on when you're viewing this, prices may vary, but right now, as it stands, of this video dropping, uh, it's $7.99 on their website. Problem is, it's out of stock. A lot. <laughs> it is very hard for PSA to keep these things on the shelves. And, you know, 
for PSA, that's kind of a good thing for them. That means that it's very popular, but for the consumers, it's very frustrating to them. So we've talked about it. They're working on it as best as they possibly can to get these things produced as quickly as they can and get them on the shelves. Now, one of the tricks on ensuring that you have kind of a leg up on everybody else when these come in stock is getting on Facebook. Um, Palmetto State Armory has a Facebook group for the AKV and they will announce when a batch is up and ready to get put onto the website to be sold. So definitely check that out. Just I'm sure you can just search Palmetto State Armory AKV and it, you'll probably be able to find the group. The other thing that is a bit of a nuisance is going to be this brake. Now the brake does very, very well as far as recoil mitigation and controlling the rise of the muzzle as you are firing multiple rounds at once. Uh, but one of the things that has been an issue is I was standing next to some people who were firing this and I was getting peppered by some, uh, some carbon that was getting blown out or maybe some unburnt powder that getting uh, launched out of this break and I talked to one of the engineers about that and he said that one of the main reasons is probably because of how the brake is made it's flat on the three and nine o'clock positions but up here at the muzzle it is still circular so it's directing the uh, carbon the spent carbon that's blowing out and the uh, unburnt powder it's blowing that right out of either side of this break and it's kind of peppering people to the left and right. They are working on a fix for that. Not sure when that's going to take place and when they're going to have that changed up, but they are working on that. The concern with that is it's kind of a nuisance, uncomfortable, but if you didn't have your safety glasses on and you get something in your eye, that can be a problem. So naturally, if you're at the range, make sure you have your safety glasses on uh, at any given time you're around someone shooting. So. That's really it. I mean, this thing has ran flawlessly. Like I said, we've ran probably 3,000 rounds between this one and the other one that we have out here, and they've been perfect. I've been pleasantly surprised at how well they've ran. So I got to tell you, as soon as I get an opportunity, I'm going to get my hands on one of these. I'm going to spend my own hard-earned money on getting one of these in my inventory because it was just that much fun to shoot over these last two days i personally probably put maybe about 600 rounds through this and again no issues so definitely check them out if you're interested i'll have a link to everything over on my website so if you're interested you can click on it and if they're in inventory definitely pick one of these up so there you have it the AKV from Palmetto State Armory. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a viable option for your home defense setup? Are you interested in pistol caliber pist pistols or pistol caliber carbines? I'd like to hear about that as well. And if you have one of those or an AKV, what has been your experience with pistol caliber pistols, carbines, AKVs? Let me know, sound off in the comment section down below. I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say about it. That's really all I got this time. Thanks so much for swinging by. Patreon people, my Patreon crew, you guys rock. Thanks so much for your support. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link down to Patreon uh, to support the channel if that's something that you want to do. With that being said, that's really all I got. Again, this time, man, freaking the High Bar Homestead in Gillette, Wyoming. This place is gorgeous. I mean, mm, we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much, guys. We'll catch you guys later. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. There you go. Bye. Look who it is. Let me tell you something, guys. That KV thingy that they brought it's, in. It's the AKV. AKV? Yeah. 3,000 rounds through it today. Yeah. Easy. Unreal. Easy. Yeah. I am, so I am actually going to buy one. He's going to buy one with his whole hard-earned money. Subscribe to this cat. What, what's he drinking? What are you Scotch. Drinking? Scotch. It's, of course he's it's drinking. Glen, it's Glen Festival. <laughs> uh, Glen Fittich. It's Glen Festival. Glen Fittich. Manifesto. You guys have a great day. Have a good one. Peace. Bye, y'all. <laughs>